here in Tucson say they're expecting a big crowd. They say they're standing up for these migrant families. We know that the caravan is largely women and children and families. They're tired, they're dehydrated, they're sick. The la we don't need uh, an armed force, the strongest armed force in the world to greet them at our doorstep. Syra Livier is a migrant herself. She crossed the border at just eight years old. She's now a U.S. citizen, and she's the director of the Tucson nonprofit People's Defense Initiative. As a migrant, I have spent a lot of my time trying to convince people that I'm a human and that I deserve to live free and safe. They've organized a peaceful protest to show solidarity. Tucson Anti-War Committee member Jim Byrne says they want to send a message to the government. We would want them to, the troops to get off the border and the United States to proceed with accepting uh, the caravan and its members as, as refugees and work through a legal process of pursuing asylum for them. While many on the opposing side say the caravan should not be allowed in the U.S., Byrne says they deserve to be here. It's the conditions that they're leaving. Um, it's not just that they just can't find a job. By the time they get here, I don't think there's going to be that many people that we couldn't bring in. We routinely bring in tens of thousands of refugees from other parts of the world. Um, why is it we have a problem with this set? Just days ago, President Trump wrote in a proclamation addressing the migration that the continuing and threatened mass migration of aliens with no basis for admission into the U.S. has precipitated a crisis and undermines the integrity of our borders. Do you think these people are going to move into your house? They're going to be a drain. Um, how about the 200 